tournament he was at, uh, the first Salt Lake service, he was actually playing Jubei, but now he switched to Tau Kaka. <laughs> which is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, he said that this is actually the first time that he's been playing Tau Kaka offline. Oh my god. And now he's in winner's finals. So if that says anything, uh, I think he's got plenty of practice and um, seeing Haru in yeah. winner's finals is kind of uh, no surprise in any way, shape, no or form. <laughs> he's a very good Kagura. Yeah. So but starting off the match, and we already got the good Tau Kaka combo, except main issue about Tau Kaka is that his, her damage output isn't that high. She's mainly relying on like mix-ups and being able to get a combo in. So like quantity, combos, or the quality. At the same time, though, because Tau Kaka is so heavily reliant on those mix-ups, if it's like a double-edged sword. Yeah, if Kagura finds any opening, you're like gonna this? get <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get flash kicked, and you're gonna eat five thousand damage. Oh my god! So it really depends on if Tau is able to continuously mix up Kagura. Yeah, but that by itself is a really difficult task, considering the fact that the player that's using Kagura. <laughs> yeah, trying to mix up Haru is is no easy task. So right now, yeah, Tau Kaka is a pretty big disadvantage. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Oh, there, there you yep. go. First round. Ended it with a uh, flash kick. Instant air swipe. In, in, <laughs> instant air swipe. I believe that's... Um, oh, goodness. I wish I knew what the uh, what the term for that is called. I don't know. Uh, I don't do charge characters, yeah. let alone stance characters. And Kagura's both. Yeah. He has really yeah. good hitboxes, but he's also fairly slow. Like, he has to use his drives to actually move. Yeah. Alright, another flash kick there. Nice. Good. Oh, the throw! Good throw. Yeah! <laughs> Victory pose, huh? Okay. Right now... Oh, oh. ended up getting poked out. Power of... couldn't really get anything uh, in. I was charged. got punished for that. Oh, no, punished from the flash kick. You gotta watch your feet. Oh my, oh. okay. Managing to We're do a super right through uh, right through that sonic boom. I mean, basically, it's... Oh my. Oh wow. So, Getting... that, that grab is honestly annoying to deal with because of the fact, like, if it comes out of nowhere, you won't, like, have time to get away from it. Yeah. Like, the only way to get away from it is, like, crouching. The moment you hit a button, it gets you. Yeah. It's as simple as that. But... And it, like, tracks the opponent, too. It's not mm. like it goes a set distance. Right. So I believe he, the, the only way you can beat it is by crouching. Yeah. If you backdash, you're going to get hit by oh, it. Backdash. If you forward yeah. dash, which most we will still get hit by mm -hmm. it. Using the bowling ball to clash with the sonic boom was very interesting. So, I, I'm actually interested like how Takaku could actually work with the bowling ball friend combo, combo wise. Because like... It's kind of just there and it just constantly have a hitbox right there. So well, like, it's, so it's... Um, I don't know if you... I don't know if you played Street Fighter V, but it's the same as Birdie's Soda Can. Yeah. So it's you use it the exact same way. You just kind of use it for for spacing. Yeah. Especially when you force your opponent to jump. So yeah. Oh, it looks like. But Haru taking first game. I feel like that could have gone both ways, though. That definitely uh, wasn't yeah. free at all. This matchup is kind of awkward because like it's either Talakaka can like be able to get the you know, the pressure and constantly yeah. keep it, or he loses it and then Haru is able to get make a really good comeback, which he's easy to do because Kagura's damage is like almost three times as Tao Kaka's. Right. Like just that. Two combos. He's already yeah, that's the other issue about Tao Kaka. Um she has one of the lowest health in the game. Like one of the Oh does she? Yeah, like like, I think it was, like, Tau Kaka and then Izanami having one of the lowest HPs in the game. Right. Because, like, it, it took, like, two combos, and Tau Kaka already lost, like, 25% of her health. That's true. Man, starting nice off perfect. real strong that with a... That is scary. With a P. How did it happen? Well, you see, um, Haru did things with Kagura, and you get hit with one mix-up, and you lose Flash half your kick. life bar. Oh, my God. Yeah, the scary thing about Flash Kick is the fact that it's easy to buffer if you're, like, in crouch guard. Right. So, like, if you can see, like, an overhead coming, you can just pretty much reverse easily with that. Because all you need to do is input up. Mm. It also uh, beats cross-ups as well, yeah. as uh, that was just seen earlier, where Tao had flown over his head, and he still managed to get the Flash Kick out. So both have overdrive, and have both have good meter. Well, there's overdrive for the first one, and goes uh -oh. straight into Exceed Excel. Doesn't kill, and doesn't get back to flow. 
Oh, oh no! He tried to do the thing that uh, worked la last last game. It didn't work out. Yeah. All right. So we are already at zero two. Zero two. Oh, we got a character change. Going to Jin. Jin. Probably for the best. Jam Kiri sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is actually a bit more different. Because, like, yeah. Jin is a bit more higher on the tier list. I'm sorry, stream, if uh, the Tau vs. Kagura matchup was, was interesting. I agree. I think it was interesting, too. <laughs> so now we get Jin. Let's see if this actually works out. Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, Control is much more well handed with Jin rather than Tao, just because he's been playing it more. Mm -hmm. But a lot more defensive options as well. Uh, Tao doesn't have any kind of DP. Yeah. Um, no Jin meters has... reversals, let mm -hmm. alone no good damage overall. Mm -hmm. She kind of, she, yeah, Taokok is one of the characters that's more pressure reliant. Yeah. Which is like either a really big hit or miss. Isn't like the only other character that's pre really pressure reliant is like Rachel? Yeah, uh, the difference is Rachel's better. Yeah, and like, <laughs> she has damage. She has like really good frame traps. She has really yeah. good uh, spacing and, and control. Oh, oh another flash kick, and then still gets hit by the sonic boom as well. Yeah, hit this by is the overhead. Really big. This should, oh, this, this should is end. It. Yep. Yeah, this is it. Yikes! Oh my god! Some so nasty. Control about to get overdrive soon. Uh, Kagura having only three. Basically, oh, as long as Haru does not allow control. control to have do Jin stuff, then he's good. Yeah. Because once the Jin stuff happens, then you're in trouble. But there's no Jin stuff happening right now. Yeah. N no. Right now, it's it's half your health bar. One more mix up will do it. Yeah, immediate burst actually is a good, uh, somewhat good strategy. It just kind of depends on the situation you're in. Because oh, like, man. if you burst instantly, you can still That's get it. active flow, which could you know. <laughs> Read your meter. Now as I was talking, right. the match just ended. A very decisive battle. As, uh, as much as I thought that that rapid cancel mix-up was pretty good, Haru saw right through it and decided to flash kick right through it, as he does to 